Bellator MMA fighter Liz Carmouche defends her flyweight title Friday in Hawaii in front of a very special audience. Frank Jefferson explains why this military all-star calls this the most important fight of her career. Military All-Stars, sponsored by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. Despite being a world champion and ranking as a top 10 fighter throughout her entire career, Liz Carmouche calls herself a late bloomer. I come onto my own a little bit later than everybody else. I have to, it's just the way of the things. I was even born late. It's just the way that I am. So I said the same thing true in my athletic um, career. Before Carmouche was serving up powerful punches, she served in the Marines for five years. So it gave me confidence, discipline, and the ability to endure. At the age of 26, she took those lessons into fighting, overcoming her late start with hard work. Being in the gym, as long as I could every day when I wasn't at school, I was at the gym. A few years later, she found herself in a different kind of fight. Yeah, I was in during Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Becoming one of the first openly gay fighters in the UFC. Now, the 39-year-old still working hard in the gym. I'm in there seven days a week. Defending her title in Hawaii in front of her fellow veterans who get to watch her for free. I've had so many people reach out to me that either I served with them or their fans. I have so much support and people that are excited for it just makes it an electric and exciting experience. Because of that support, she calls this fight the most important of her career, using her platform as a chance to inspire and honor all those who serve. And represent all the, the first responders and military as one of their own and as a champion to be able to do that in front of them and to keep this and just show them what they can all do with their dreams if they set their minds on it. Frank Jefferson, Fox 5 Sports.